All right, budget magic time. Playing some mono white Panharmonicon Amiria in modern. And this hand, we have many lands. But we want many lands. We're going to try this. We have a wall of omens is a redraw. We're on the draw. So I think this is fine ish. Obviously, six lands doesn't look great, but I think it's better than it looks. Planes for our opponent and. Soul Attendant, oh lord. Get ready for a grind fest. Oh my good, oh, uh, Dak. More planes? Well, we're gonna turn our Amirias on. This is gonna be something. <laughs> Who can grind more? Oh my goodness. Buckle up, buckle up, boys and girls. <laughs> this is gonna be a long one. I mean, I guess we could just draw like seven lands in a row, and then it wouldn't be a long one. We'd just die pretty quickly. Hide away. Watch us get emerald. <laughs> well, if our opponent's playing a lot of flyers, that makes things a little worse. Opponent gets in four one. Yep. Not a land, please. Not a land. Felidar Guardian. That's that's reasonable. Wall of Omens. Opponent gains a million life. Killing our opponent with infinite Felidar Guardian triggers going to be challenging through Soul Tenant. We're all <laughs> also going to gain our opponent infinite life another hideaway land the good news is we can we can um destroy all our opponent's lands with ghost quarter oh my god so many soul attendants we really need something to not let our opponent just start wind brisk heightsing next turn block with wall well play lone missionary we gain some life opponent gains even more life I think we're just going to play the Ghost Quarter to threaten the ability to blow up a Windbrisk Heights, but I don't think we're actually going to do it. We're, if our opponent wants to just slam everything in Windbrisk Heights, I don't think we can stop it. They can double Windbrisk Heights. Jeez. Alright, well, what do you got hiding under the Windbrisk Heights, opponent? We will block and block. Windbrisk Heights number one. Alright, Selfless Spirit. Well, that's more annoying than deadly. If our opponent wants to sack it to save their soul warden, that's fine. It's probably better just as a 2-1 flyer, honestly. Number two, Spectral Procession. Gains a lot of life. Yep. Well, we got through the Windbrisk Heights without dying, so that's good. Opponent's up to 40. It's Blade Splicer. Well, let's just... Felidare Guardian, Blink Our Wall. So we're going to be taking a lot of damage over the short term. I still think there's a chance that we can outgrind in the long run, though. Drawing some flyers would be helpful. Blink our wall. Opponent gains even more life. Draw... Non-land, please? Land. Alright, well, this hand's looking a bit worse. We've drawn so many lands. Pass the turn. Opponent can start hitting us for five in the air. That's a decent chunk of damage. And we're not really pressuring our opponent at all. Ranger of... Oh, dear. Well, our opponent's at 44, which means if they can search out Sarah Ascendant, we're going to die very quickly. Two Sarah Ascendants. Yeah. Oh, man. And a land. Oh, God. Wow. Tapped. Okay. Thank you. I have no idea why they didn't slam Sarah Ascendant there. Well, this is not really helping us. This just... I don't think we're drawing live now. Opponent has so much life. And we've just drawn so many lands. We haven't drawn any flyers. Well, I mean, we kept a six lander, so we can't really complain about flooding. Although I was hoping we were going to draw more non-lands. Or maybe better non-lands. But I think we're just dead next turn if our opponent just doubles their ascendance here. We're dead even if we draw a path, which I think means we just don't have outs. I guess Flicker Wisp, Blink, Flicker Wisp, Flicker Guardian, Guardian, Blink, Flicker Wisp, Exile, Sarah Ascendant, Block Sarah Ascendant, keeps us alive for a turn. Thun Titan, sweet, but 612, sweet, but not sweet enough. All right. Well, we had a ton of lands and our opponent's draw was solid. 
We will bring in Condemn. Opponent already has so much life, I don't think it really matters. I think we will also bring in Story Circles and Stonehorn Dignitaries. Those are the cards we're most interested in here. The question is, how do we make them fit? And I think we can cut a Blade Splicer. Maybe two Blade Splicers. They're just on the ground, and our opponent's attacking in the air. Go down one Resto. Go down one Knight, since we're going to be on the play. Well, maybe we go down another Knight. Well, I think we need the Condemn. Maybe we just go down all the Blade Splicers. Actually, we'll keep one and go down a Lone Missionary. Let's try it like that. A little bit 4-drop heavy, but with a lot of power. Alright, we get to play first. And this hand's a lot better. This hand I like. Three lands, stuff to play, fourth land with Pilgrim's Eye. Have not drawn a Panharmonicon yet this match. And even a Condemned to deal with a Sarah Sunnet. So, Amiria Goo. There's a planes for our opponent. And Soul Tendon. What do we draw? Sun Titan. Well, I think we're just going to keep our life total high. Play a Wall of Omens. Opponent starts the life gain. Alright, well, we got Sarah Ascendance covered with Double Condemn. Kind of wouldn't mind just drawing an untapped land to Pilgrim's Eye next turn. If not, we're just passing, which isn't exciting. There's Ascendant. Yup. Well, I guess now we can just... Well, I don't know if we condemn. Forge Tender... Interesting choice against our mono white deck. I guess our opponent doesn't necessarily know what we're doing. And a path. Well, we got all the removal. Well, I think, well, yeah, let's just pass. We're probably going to end up pathing Sarah Ascendant. That represents even more life gain. The problem with Condemn is Ranger of Eos gets it back. Ooh, and there's a land. Okay. Well, I guess this means we got to Condemn here to keep our opponent off of Windbrisk Heights. So, Condemn the Ascendant, Condemn Soul's Attendant, Block takes zero. Now we make sure they can't just win Brisk Heights next turn. Ooh, we found it! Alright, Pilgrim's Eye gets us a Plains, also gives us a blocker for Selfless Spirit, which seems important. So, Plains, play the Plains, pass the turn. So now we're hoping to Panharmonicon into Felidare Guardian. Start blinking like crazy. There's a Plains for our opponent. Hopefully they don't have Ranger of Eos. That just gets back all the one drops. Okay, Spirit of the Labyrinth. We probably will have to kill that eventually. Opponent passes. Well, Knight's better next turn. Let's Panharmonicon. Pass the turn. Let's see what our opponent does. If they value turning on Windbrisk Kites, hopefully we block and kill Spirit of the Labyrinth. Spectral Procession. Well, not valuing the Windbrisk Kites. Flagstones. Okay. Also, Windbrisk Kites. No attacks. There's a Flicker Wisp. Alright, so I think we start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, start with Path Spirit of the Labyrinth. Oh, this turn is going to be sweet with Panharmonicon. So we get to double, they get a land, putting them up to six lands. We're at four, which means we get to double Knight of the White Orchid to catch back up on lands. Undoing the Path to Exile. So planes, planes. Then we Flicker Wisp. Oh man, so sweet. Panharmonicon. Uh, Blake, our Wall of Omens. Blink, our Pilgrim's Eye. Pass the turn. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is what we were imagining when we drew it up. Get our stuff back. Now we have the value engine super going. Pilgrim's Eye gets us a Plains, which is going to get us to Emeria. We could use a Ghost Quarter. Planes and Planes. Wall of Omens comes back, draws us a couple of cards. More planes. And, ooh, Stonehorn! <laughs> yes! Oh, this is such a sweet blink target. Is our opponent going on the attack? Yes. They want their Windbrisk Kites on. I think we just block block. Because we're going to have double Sun Titan triggers. Man, so much value with Panharmonicon! <laughs> Yes, you can win Riskites. 
So Sun Titan, get back Flicker Whiz, get back Pilgrim's Eye, Blink, Sun Titan, Blink, Wall of Omens, draw approximately a million cards. Oh, man. Or we just double Stonehorn Dignitary, which I believe should make our opponent skip their next two combat steps. Sarah Ascendant and Soul Attendant. Yep, there's Soul Attendant. Opponent passes. Well, since our opponent didn't play the Sarah Ascendant, I think we just Sun Titan here. Double up on the triggers, get back the Flicker Wisp, get back the Pilgrim's Eye. Opponent gains some life. <laughs> oh, the value! We search out a Flames. Oh, this is so good. Search out a Flames. Get back Flicker Wisp. Flicker Wall of Omens. Flicker. We have nothing to get back. Oh, maybe we will. Yeah, Flicker Sun Titan. Because we're at seven cards. So we're going to be able to just. <laughs> oh, this is so good. All right, so we get to discard the hand size. We got to set these triggers right. We need Sun Titan to come in second. So get back. Oh, it's not going to work. We don't discard till after. No! Yeah, all right. Fair enough. Even Mind Sensor, sure. Lone Missionary, Lone Missionary. Get back Sun Titan. Pass the turn. Discard a Planes. Discard a Planes. Double ramping next turn. So it still works for next turn. I think we got it. Johnny's pride, mate. Well, that's going to be big, but how does our opponent get through our value engine? Eventually, we'll find another Felidare Guardian. Draw our entire deck. Ghost quarter our opponent into Oblivion. Opponent passes. Well, let's lead on Felidare Guardian. Blink Wall of Omens, Blink the Sun Titan. Oh my god, the value. <laughs> uh, Sun Titan gets back two lads, which turns out Averia for next turn. Opponent's Pride Mate is growing. Yes, we'll take the two lands, please. Thank you. Wall of Omens. Maybe we go infinite here? Do we play a land, though? Oh, we probably shouldn't have played a land. Felidare Guardian. Let me let me look back at this. Oh, we didn't. Okay. Well, now I think we can win. So, well, win by destroying our opponent. Felidar Guardian. Now the real fun starts. Felidar Guardian, blink Felidar Guardian, blink Wall of Omens. So, we've gone infinite. Draw a card. It's a planes. Felidar Guardian, blink Felidar Guardian, blink Wall of Omens. Felidar Guardian, blink Validare Guardian, Blink. Oh, I guess we're not actually going to win here. We're going to win next turn, most likely. Validare Guardian, Validare Guardian, and Wall of Omens. What do we have? Sun Titan, we still haven't found a Ghost Quarter. Validare Guardian, Blink. Validare Guardian, Blink. Flicker Wisp. Oh, we will be able to do this. Okay. So get rid of the Spirit. Get rid of... We'll Blink our Pilgrim's Eye. This does work. We just got to do it on our end step. Thanks to Flicker Whiz. Blink. So we got to find a Ghost Quarter. Blink Wall of Omens. Blink. Oh, I did it backwards. Oops, we missed a Blink Trigger. Blink Felidar Guardian. Blink Wall of Omens. So once we find a Ghost Quarter. Oh, this is so convoluted, but it's going to work. We find a Ghost Quarter. We discard the Ghost Quarter to hand size. Then we want our last blinks to be Felidar Guardians to restart the loop on our end step. We still need a Ghost Quarter, though. And then we just Ghost Quarter our opponent out of the game, and then hopefully win. Where is the Ghost Quarter? There's a Ghost Quarter. All right, so we blink Sun Titan. No, we blink Flicker Wisp, and I guess just Flicker Wisp. Flicker Wisp, blink... Felidare Guardian and blink a Johnny's Pride Mate. This still isn't going to work, is it? Good God. Play play the planes. Oh, man. So many punts. Pass the turn. I think I messed this up severely. Well, first time going through the combo. So pass the turn. Ah, oh, so many mistakes. 
It doesn't really matter because we can just blink our opponent's entire board. So get all of our stuff back. And then we're set up next turn to do everything. Felidar Guardian, blink Flicker Wisp, blink. Uh, I did it backwards. Uh, yes, we did it wrong. All right, so Felidar Guardian, blink Felidar Guardian, blink Flicker Wisp. So we basically just get rid of our all of our opponent's creatures for the next turn. Get rid of Pride Mate, get rid of Sarah Ascendant. Uh, well, this was a little muddled, but it's it's working. Blink Felidar Guardian, blink Felidar Guardian, blink Flicker Wisp. Get rid of Mind Sensor and Sarah Ascendant, or Souls Attendant. Blink Felidar Guardian, blink Guardian, blink Flicker Wisp. Selfless Spirit, Ranger of Eos. And no, that's good enough. We get back our Pilgrim's Eye. Not going to bother searching. We already have all the lands we can possibly use. Pass the turn. Discard. Discard. Hmm. All right. Wall of Omens. Pilgrim's Eye. Plains. Lone Missionary. Lone Missionary. Plains. 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 Uh, Panharmonicon. Blade Splicer. Resto. Plains, Sun Titan, Felidar Guardian. So next turn, we get the world's slowest Armageddon. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Jake is so strong, also so slow. So next turn, the plan is start ghost quartering, start the loop again, but this time, blink. <laughs> Our opponent realizes what's happening, scoops it up. So what we are going to do, and I'm very thankful our opponent didn't make us go through it, is we're going to play Ghost Quarter. Our opponent is mono white, so they're going to have a million planes. Ghost Quarter of planes, start the Felidare loop. So blink Felidare, blink Sun Titan, get back. Ghost Quarter, Ghost Quarter, our opponent, blink Felidare, blink Sun Titan. Of the end result of that, sooner or later, is going to be that we get through all of our opponent's lands, and they have no lands left. And then we just piece together the win with our Sun Titans and so forth. So, oh God. Well, it worked. <laughs> Oh, let's run, let's run it back. And, all right, we got some cards that do things. Flagstones for our opponent. And Sarah Ascendant. Well, planes go. Flagstones. Legend rules flagstones. Gets a new land. I guess the question is, do we path, well, condemn Sarah Ascendant? Spirit of the Labyrinth. That's actually kind of annoying here, considering we have a wall of omens. All right, take our beats. Play the planes, pass the turn. I think we have to try to condemn spirit and then wall of omens. Honor of the pure, pumps up the dorks. All right, so condemn spirit of the labyrinth, take two. Play wall of omens, draw a card. Ooh, and the banner monogon. Well, we're actually not that far away from going infinite. We do have to make sure we don't die to Sarah Ascendant. Opponent gets in. Well, we block it. Opponent gains a life. Pumps up Pride Mate. Up to 27. Well, let's play Planes, and I think we're just going to take the risk. Panharmonicon. Hopefully next turn we can, we can start locking our opponent out here. Sarah Ascendant. Well, our opponent's aggressive. They still have to beat Stonehorn Dignitary, though. Goes attacking. We block here. Opponent up to 29. Path is good. So let's just Stonehorn Dignitary. Our secret tech for beating this board. <laughs> oh, our opponent likes it. <laughs> uh, hopefully this, this makes our opponent skip two combats. So it triggers and triggers. Well, we will see for science. The idea is our opponent will skip two combats, but we we will have to wait and see. Pass the turn. All right, opponent paths to the dignitary. Probably a wise decision. We will get a land. That means we can't start blinking it, and we only have one more in our deck. Honor of the pure. Everything's getting even bigger. Well, opponent skips that combat. So, Felidare Guardian... 
Blink, Wall of Omens, Blink a Land. I guess we could have went infinite here. Probably should have went infinite here. Hmm. Flicker Wisp, Flicker Pride Mate, Flicker Felidare Guardian. Well, we'll just go infinite next turn. This is fine. Man, so much synergy. So pass the turn. Flicker Wisp gives everything back. Felidare Guardian, Blink Flicker Wisp, Blink Wall of Omens. Man, this is so insane. Draw two cards. Flicker Wisp flickers, gets rid of Sarah Ascendant, gets rid of Johnny's Pride Mate. And pass the turn. Yeah, I probably should have just went infinite there. Soul Attendant. Opponent does skip a second combat. We found it does work the way we wanted, so we can theoretically make our opponent skip infinite combat steps, which is how I thought that worked. All right, opponent's gonna get their stuff back, gain some life, pumps up their Sarah Ascendance, but I think we just go infinite here. So untap, play a planes, Faladair Guardian, Faladair Guardian, blink. Felidair, Blink Wall. Yeah, we got it. Draw some cards. Blink Felidair. Blink Felidair, Blink Wall. Blink Felidair, Blink Wall. So we draw our whole deck, or most of our deck. Blink Felidair, Blink Wall. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Have we drawn anything relevant yet? Blink Felidair, Blink Wall. Blink Felidair, Blink Wall. We have infinite mana. Infinite life, infinite everything. Do we have a sun titan? Draw, draw. Still no sun titan. Play Stonehorn Dignitary. Play. I guess we just wait. I mean, we could. Well, let's do it. Felidare Guardian. <laughs> oh, Blink Felidare, Blink Stonehorn Dignitary. So our opponent's going to skip an infinite number of combats. Blink Felidare. So our opponent's up to skipping four combats. Skipping six combats. Si skipping... Oh, no, I hit it backwards. All right, we didn't get this one. Skipping eight combats. Skipping 10 combats. And we'll go one more. Skipping... Well, actually, let's just do Wall and Flicker Wisp and call that good. Good enough for now. Get rid of a Felidare Guardian. Get rid of a Felidare Guardian. To give us the upkeep, the... It doesn't even matter. None of this matters. We just, we just have it. Blink Wall. Play Lone Missionary. Opponent can't attack for an infinite number of turns. We do have to actually kill our opponent, though. Lone Missionary. Pass the turn. We did not find a Sun Titan. Blink our wall. Blink our Stonehorn Dignitary. Oh, this combo. <laughs> Draw some more cards. Gives back Felidare Guardian. Blink Dignitary. Blink wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, opponents at 70 sub life and we really don't care they can't attack for essentially the rest of the game maybe we should just be playing a way to shuffle our graveyard back in maybe that's what we need discard 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 uh, 11 cards still in hand. We'll get rid of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We do need one more planes. Ghost Quarter, Ghost Quarter, Flicker Wisp, and I guess an Amiria? Whoo! Alright, so now we just gotta kill our opponent. 
I want to gain some more life. We get another Panharmonicon. So get rid of Sierra Ascendant. Get rid of Sierra Ascendant. Play a Plains. Get in with Flicker Wisp. And pass the turn. Maybe we need a faster finisher in this deck. Maybe we do need Triskillion or something. Opponent has Day of Judgment. Okay. That's actually fine since we have a Myria in hand and a million Sun Titans in our deck. So, play a Myria. Play Panharmonicon. Play Panharmonicon. Pass the turn. Question is going to be, can we kill our opponent before we run out of time? Land for our opponent. Legend rules themselves. There's some spirits. We get back a Wall of Omens to draw some cards. Sun Titan. Get back Flicker Wisp. Get back Lone Missionary. Get back Lone Missionary. Get back Flicker Wisp. Flicker Wisp. Get rid of all of our opponent's tokens. Flicker our Sun Titan. Lone Missionary gains us a bunch of life. Lone Missionary gains us a bunch of life. Flicker Wisp, get rid of the token. Flicker our lands. We just got to kill our opponent before we run out of time. Blade Splicer. Planes, pass the turn. Oh no, all these triggers. Time, we can't run out of time. Oh, more Sun Titans. Gets back all of our lands. Oh my god. So much time going away. Ghost Quarter. Ghost Quarter. Get back everything. Pass the turn. Well, hopefully we can just win by beating down. They have Judgment. And our opponent, being a super nice person and a fan of the show, she'll shout out to Clots. Is gonna scoop it up. They asked how we actually won. And I explained, explained that we, if we weren't such, so pitched for time, we would ghost quarter all of their lads until they were, <laughs> until they were out of mana. So, Mono White Fan Armonica out of Iria doing its thing. Holy, this deck. If it wasn't for the time concerns, and maybe that's a problem, maybe we need to add in, <laughs> add in another finisher or something. Huh. I mean, it works, and it felt pretty unbeatable once it got rolling. Because we would just get back with our Myria, Wall of Omens, draw cards, find a Sun Titan, play the Sun Titan, rebuild our, rebuild our entire board. Oh my god, Mono White Panharmonicon. Not looking forward to editing these matches, but that was super sweet. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Thanks for watching the video. If you're subscribed, make sure to hit that bell icon to get notifications for all the latest videos. It's a great way to support the channel for free. And you can find the next video right here.